What is up guys, DT Ninja here to bring you my Ruroken Hokkaido Arc Chapter 13 review and discussion. Okay guys, it's been a while since the last review and discussion, but if you, re if you watched my uh, updates video, you would know that I had a lot of things happen to me. I have a new Facebook page, I have a website, which I'm going to put in the uh, link in the description. Uh, so yeah, a lot of things happened, but I'm back to do some more discussions. So. In the uh, description, there will also be a link to my archives, which has all 16 chapters that I have translated, so you, get, you guys can check those out. This is chapter 13, by the way. Um, before we get to the actual discussion, though, I want to share some new items uh, from, from Japan of Kenshin. So, two items that I got are these really neat notepads. You guys can see you have Master Hiko and Kenshin here and you have Sojiro and uh, si um, sorry, Shishio, uh, Master and Student set kind of. And these are notepads. You guys can see inside they just have, you know, sticky notes and places you can uh, write notes. So but pretty cool. I like, I like the, uh, the cover of each of them. Pretty neat though. Um, I got these on Ami Ami if you guys are interested. Uh, however, they sold out quite quite quickly. So, if if you're lucky enough, you might find them on eBay, but they'll probably be pretty expensive. Uh, but anyways, I also got the keychain set, which has all ten characters uh, showcased. So here's Master Hiko, just like you saw just now, and you have Kenshin. Okay, Master Hiko and Kenshin. Then you got uh, Saito, Ajime Saito, pretty awesome. I, I love the, uh, the, the little uh, illustration they did for graph art. This is graph art, so, so it's a little different illustration than you're used to seeing. Pretty neat though. You got Shishio, and then he kind of pairs well with Sojiro, right? Just like you saw earlier. And then you got Kaoru, she kind of pairs well with uh, Yaiko, no master and student, pretty cool. And then you got uh, Aoshi and Misao, so they pair well together. So it, it comes with quite a bit. Um, and then there's Sano, but Sano's all alone, so it's kind of sad you don't get Megumi with, with him. I was kind of hoping Megumi would be part of this collection, but there are 10 of them, so pretty neat. I think I showed them all to you. But yeah, those are my graph art illustration uh, notepad as well as keychain set. So I wanted to share those with you before we get to the actual discussion, because those are new items from Japan. So, but yeah, if you guys want to check out any of those new items, you can find on Ami Ami. Some of them still are available, but others are sold out, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I decided to change my camera angle a little bit so you guys can see me better. Hopefully the video is a lot easier uh, to follow. So I got some notes here for, the, for chapter 13. I got a lot of things I want to discuss. So let's get to the chapter. Chapter 13. Oh, by the way, that intro, uh, the color scans were done by Chris JP20, one of my good friends. Uh, he does awesome work. Uh, check his work out on DeviantArt. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Uh, yeah, so anyways, and throughout this video, I will be sharing some color scans. So he did those as well, just like normal. Okay, so things I noticed in this chapter, because the last chapter we ended off with there is word from the Aoya, right? So we learned that he's at the uh, kind of uh, telegraph office, which is where you, you know send messages, uh, you know, via telegraph to anywhere, you know, in Japan. So Kenshin apparently uh, sent a telegraph to, uh, you know, Okina, and Okina in this chapter is going to reply to him, and this is going to be the reply. So. The first thing I noticed is that Okina, he mentions that the Oni Waban group has no intel or information about Hokkaido, which is very interesting to me because remember, throughout the series, 
that Okina is very, very useful in Intel for, for Kenshin, even though some of these uh, parts of, of the anime especially were not canon, you definitely see throughout the, the country that the Oniwabon has connections throughout, uh, you know, the, you know, the country, throughout Honshu for most of the part. Uh, but it's very interesting that there's nothing in Hokkaido and the Azo Republic uh, is like the old era before the, the Meiji era came in Hokkaido. It's now called Hokkaido, but they don't have any uh, intel or information or connections to Hokkaido, which is interesting because now the Hokkaido arc, we have Kinkaku Heki, they're very dangerous, and they have no way of helping out with intel or telling us something interesting about them because they always have some information on you know Shishio's group or a group in Amaksa, uh, Shogo Amaksa. This, I know this is not canon but still they had these connections throughout Japan but now we realize that Hokkaido is outside of their jurisdiction. So it's very interesting uh, to, to note. Um, another thing I noticed is that Aoshi is out on a mission. Okay, Aoshi Shinomori is out on a mission and it appears to be some kind of scandal. When I translated it, I kind of read something about his family. I don't know if it's a family scandal or what, but it seems that it's an important mission because he's out on it right now and he didn't tell me Sal about it because we see her through the chapter and she's running to find him just like the old times where he went off to Tokyo and she raced off as well trying to find him and ironically she ran right into Kenshin right so very interesting stuff I like it However, if you look closely at those words, Okina states that I'm going to tell you in detail about this mission. However, the more we realize, the more we read, the more we realize there's no details, right? There's no, I'll tell you in detail. Uh, Misao is, is rushing off to find him just like old times, but where's the details? He says, I'll tell you in detail, but he almost like withholds that information. It's like something I cannot tell you uh, if I'm reading that right because he did say I'll tell you in detail but then he just goes on to tell about his granddaughter and yeah so it doesn't really touch much on the mission so I'm very interested to learn about that so we're gonna talk more about that in the discussion uh, part of the, the videos alright guys so on to the next thing Okina has lost track of Master Hiko, so apparently Kenshin has uh, requested to, uh, you know, talk to Master Hiko about, you know, things that are going on in Hokkaido, but he's lost track of him. Okina cannot find him, uh, but Watsuki gave us, insight, the readers, a look at what he's doing and where he's going. Now, we don't actually know where he's headed, but we know that he's traveling somewhere. He's on a boat somewhere. So very interesting stuff, and I, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, Hiko again. We know he's probably going to show up at some point, but very interesting stuff. Uh, I have a discussion question later about him, so yeah. Okay, next thing. Sano keeps asking Kaoru uh, about Megumi. And of course, he always asks her in, uh, you know, the, the funny way. Always, you know, the, the one who knows Kenshin's body the best and she gets really upset. Uh, yes, but anyway, we can definitely see that Sano is missing. Uh, and wants to see Megumi, so I can't wait to see that reunion. It's been over, f it's been five years since they've last seen each other. So, very interesting stuff. I can't wait to see uh, when Megumi comes to Hokkaido. So, very interesting. Um, the next thing, Kenshin is concerned about Ashitaro. So, we get this scene where we see him talk to Ashitaro. Never again will you ever draw the Mugenjin. So even though that Ashitaro wields the Mugenjin, it's chosen him. Uh, a, a, according to Ashitaro, it chose him, uh, but he's the one that grabbed it. But anyways, uh, remember in chapter one, uh, Kenshin was kind of contemplating, did it choose him or did he choose it? So it's very interesting that he, he mentions it again, you will not draw Shishio's sword. 
Uh, don't ever do it because something bad will happen. Now, we, after this, we see the scene with him and Itakura, Byakuya, one of the commanders of Kinkaku Heki, and he's, it's the one where he's like, even Himura the Batosai will not be enough. I've been gathering capable warriors. Now, the, the fact that it explained, that it shows the scene makes me wonder, does Kenshin think that a potential warrior could be in the making in Ashitaro? Because if he does draw, you know, draw the, the Mugenjin again, if he does unsheath it, then definitely that will catch Byakuya's interest. And, you know, you could see, you know, him turning to the other side. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, especially with what happened in the latest chapter, in chapter 16. I don't want to spoil anyone, but it's very interesting to think about. That must be the reason why Kenshin is telling him never to draw the Mugenjin. So, it's also interesting how the sword is the focus here, because later in the chapter, a few pages later, we see that Saito is no longer... Uh, wielding a sword. He no longer has a sword, so we also get that connection uh, with swords. So very interesting how it's kind of connected there uh, in a way, because he doesn't have a sword, uh, but he doesn't want Ashitaro to, uh, you know, wield the Mugenjin. So anyway, okay, the next thing. Uh, Saito seems different. Sano notices it while he's walking uh, as Saito leads them towards the monument, right? The, the Heketsuhi monument that he leads them to. It's a secret location that only certain people know about. So that's another thing. Uh, and also, Saito seems to be not just different, but his like swordsman spirit seems to be uh, like broken or shaken. It's almost like he's afraid inside uh, without showing it. You know, he is always tough on the outside. We've seen him uh, injured by Shishio and he acted like nothing happened, but here he got his sword shattered and it's almost like his swordsman's spirit has been broken as well. And Sano's like, Kenshin, you have to say something to him. And then he looks at Saito and you see his empty, uh, you know, his, his empty sheath there with no sword. So very, very uh, concerning for Saito. Uh, it also makes me think that this could be his last battle, possibly. But I hope that's not the case, but it could be. I don't know. I don't know if that's what Watsuki is kind of hinting at here. But uh, nonetheless, it's interesting. Um, Okay, Saito leads Kenshin and the others to Heketsuhi Monument. Now, Heketsuhi is a monument uh, for the fallen soldiers that fought in the Hakodate War, which were Shinsengumi members. So it's kind of like uh, his fallen comrades. You see him, you know, praying in front of it. It's, it's very uh, nice to see. But then he reveals to Kenshin that this is not the reason I brought you here. The reason I brought you here is because Kinkaku Heki have been gathering warriors, or so they have told you, probably. And you know what? I've been thinking that uh, I should, you know, gather my own. So this is the meeting place for our squad. And so that was a nice way to end the chapter, seeing uh, each of the members. You got Sojiro, you got Sugimura, and you got Anji. So you got the meeting of warriors together. So very interesting stuff. Uh, but yeah, I want to go further into the discussion questions now because uh, they, they do uh, are some things that are not answered yet. So... Okay, discussion question number one. What is the mission that Aoshi is out on? And what are the details of it? Because as I stated, uh, uh, Okina states that he will tell Kenshin in detail, but then he goes on to say that uh, Aoshi's on a mission and Misao's looking for him, like always, and that once he's done with their mission, or once they're done, he will have them go to Hakodate to meet up with you. But he doesn't really go into the mission. What is it? 
What is the mission that he's out on? Um, I have to, a feeling, he says it's some kind of scandal, but when I translated it, like I said before, I think it's something to do with his family. So it seems very interesting, something involved with his family, which we don't really know a whole lot about. So that would be very interesting to learn. I hope that Watsuki goes a little bit into this mission because that would be uh, something to, to learn about his character more. Uh, but yeah, what is it? What is this mission? And it's great to see Misao again, uh, but you know, it's just like old time. She's, she's, she's searching for Aoshi. Obviously, he didn't tell her about where uh, he is, so very uh, concerning on her part. But yeah, what is it? What is this mission? And we see like this, this uh, this person that he's fighting against so he's definitely you know in some kind of trouble i don't know uh, like i said it's some kind of scandal scandal and it has to do with family i believe so we'll go from there i can't really say much other than that because we can only speculate what's going on uh, beyond that but it's very interesting and i hope watsuki does touch on it a little bit more because i want to see aoshi and misao uh you know back uh, so, but anyways, it was nice to see them again. Um, okay, second discussion question. Where is Master Hiko headed? And we see that he's on a boat, right? And I mentioned this before. But is it possible that Master Hiko is on his way to Hakodate or Hokkaido? Think about it, guys. It shows him on a boat. And in chapter, I believe it was chapter 5, chapter 4 or 5, we see Sako and the old woman from the Yami Nobu, and they're also on this little tiny boat going towards, uh, you know, Hakodate, and that's where Ashitaro meets up with them again, and they have their little duel against each other. So it, it, it was very interesting. Now, I have the, uh, the chapter here, so I can share with you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Sako right here. And you can see, this is the Hokkaido, uh, uh, the Hokkadate, where he, they're on their little boat, and Ashitaro sees him, and this is where he meets up with him again, and he's like, you can clearly see this is where uh, they start fighting each other. But it's definitely interesting, because we see him on a boat, and I just got to thinking, because the, when we've seen boats and ships on here, we've seen them going to, to Hokkaido, so... Uh, it would be very interesting if that is the case, if he's headed towards where they are. Is it possible that is the case? Uh, Watsuki is definitely going to surprise us somehow. So I hope that's the case, that Master Hiko is on his way and he's going to show up. That would be badass. Just imagine he shows up out of nowhere and like shows up one of these commanders of uh, Genkaku Heki. Now I'm not going to go into it further because a lot of them are spoilers, but Master Hiko, I think he's going to have a part in this battle. So, anyways, uh, on to the next discussion question. Uh, Heketsuhi is an actual monument, okay? This monument that Saito leads them to is, like I said, it is uh, a monument for fallen soldiers, Shinsengumi, that have passed away. Now, what's interesting about this is that the Meiji government refused to have any involvement in this. They have no idea that this monument exists. So my question is, why are they hiding it from the Meiji government? What, what makes this uh, kind of uh, offensive to them? I, I don't understand. Is it something to do with the Eizo Republic in Hokkaido? I, I'm, I have, to, have to wonder if that's the reason. Uh, you know, only Waban have no, no connection to there. So I guess that could be it. But it's very interesting because only a certain few know where this monument is. In fact, it's like up in the mountains somewhere. It's hidden from everywhere. It's not, it's not where civilization is, right? It's, it's out there. So, and another way to hide it from the government is that there's no inscription. So on the monument itself, there's nothing. It just says Heketsuhi and that's it. There's no names. There's no... Uh, nothing about a battle or war or fallen soldiers, nothing. So whoever did it, did it in secret to hide it from the government. 
It kind of reminds me of how, you know, religion, Buddhism uh, was hidden from the government as well. So it's in that sense, but it's very interesting. And, it, and like I said, it's, it's a real monument. So I have a real picture to share with you guys. It's pretty neat. So take a look. All right, guys. So you can see a uh, very interesting, it's very, very, uh, nice it'd be very cool to see that place but yeah very very interesting uh like i said uh that's probably the reason uh but yeah okay last question saito gathers warriors for kenshin very similar to how hoji gathers warriors for shishio he is gathering these these capable warriors but not only that is it is it related to shishio because we we know shishio has influence on ashitaro but it also reverts back to Kinkaku Heki because they are gathering capable warriors as well. Byakuya stated this. So it's like Saito is using Byakuya's strategy against him. He's gathering his own warriors uh, to, to counter, counteract against their gathering of warriors. But it also is kind of concerning. Is Saito worried that they can't win? Or maybe it's his final battle. Maybe he's going to die in this battle. I hope that's not the case. We've seen a broken sword, uh, his possible broken spirit. I really hope that's not the case. Maybe he'll get a new sword. Maybe he'll get a new sword. So there is hope. Uh, but I'm sure, uh, you know, Watsuki is, is uh, planning to do something special for, for Saito. So you can look forward to that. But uh, is that the reason why he's gathering these, these warriors for Kenshin? It's very interesting how it reverts back to Shishio, though, because Kenshin is, you know, getting weaker, uh, his endurance-wise, and Shishio also had weak endurance. He couldn't fight for a long period of time, but he had an, an incredible upper limit. He could fight with such power and, you know, just not for a long period of time. So it's very interesting. So anyways, guys, that's my discussion and review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Chapter 14 will be coming next week, so I'll be, you know, trying to get more. Also, I'll be uploading new chapters to my website. Uh, check the link in the description. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.